Greetings Linux enthusiasts. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey into the Linux realm, delving deep into the intricacies of Arch Linux and Fedora. These two distributions have earned their stripes in the Linux community, but the real question is, which one should be your go-to choice? Let's unravel the comparisons and contrasts. Isn't it all Linux under the hood? Before we plunge into the specifics, it's crucial to grasp that at their core, Arch Linux and Fedora share the same bedrock, the venerable Linux kernel and essential tools from the GNU project. However, what sets them apart are the unique additions each distribution brings to the table. Arch Linux emerges as a distribution born from the ground up, a true independent entity. Conversely, Fedora Linux traces its lineage back to the original free versions of Red Hat Linux, and it comes fortified with the support of both a vibrant community and a dedicated corporation. Let's dive into the installation process. In the past, Arch Linux's installation was considered a rite of passage, demanding users to undergo a substantial amount of research. But fear not, the introduction of Arch Install has ushered in a more user-friendly era. Meanwhile, Fedora offers a more accessible installation experience through tools like Anaconda. Though it might not boast the fanciest interface, it certainly gets the job done efficiently, making it a welcoming option for Linux newcomers. When it comes to hardware support, both distributions stand tall. Yet Fedora takes the lead by supporting a broader spectrum of platforms, including x86-64, ARM, CISC, and RISC architectures. While Arch Linux is robust, it might demand a bit more tweaking to optimize certain hardware components. Now let's discuss updates. Arch Linux follows a dynamic rolling release model, pushing updates as soon as they become available. In contrast, Fedora opts for a stability-centric approach, releasing updates every six months with a meticulous focus on delivering a bug-free experience. Choose Arch if you desire the latest features promptly. On the flip side, if stability is your top priority, Fedora might be the better fit. Effective package management is crucial for any Linux user. Arch Linux boasts Pacman, a swift and efficient tool complemented by the extensive Arch user repository, Allwer. Meanwhile, Fedora employs DNF and RPM packages with the user-driven Copper repository. Both are effective, but Pacman tends to have a noticeable speed advantage. In the Linux universe, community support reigns supreme. Both Arch Linux and Fedora boast passionate communities, but the Arch Wiki stands tall as the gold standard for Linux information. It's a comprehensive resource covering everything from the fundamentals to advanced topics. Whether you lean towards forums, subreddits, or Discord channels, both distributions offer a wealth of support and information. It boils down to personal preference. To sum it up, Arch Linux and Fedora are exceptional distributions, each with its unique strengths. Arch provides unparalleled control and the latest software but demands more effort. Fedora, engineered for stability, offers a smoother experience with delayed releases and an unwavering focus on reliability. The decision between Arch Linux and Fedora ultimately hinges on your priorities. Consider what matters most to you, Take both for a spin and find the Linux shoe that fits your needs like a glove. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of Arch Linux and Fedora. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating Linux content. Until next time, happy computing.